But the value that my colleagues found in me was always there. It's the people above them that I think who are trying to pull the strings and, and work the purse that, that really don't think that there's much value or as much value as we all see in the type of work that, that I tend to do. And that's a shame because the students certainly value it. Um, they get more contact with an academic that can help them with their work. Um, so, yeah, it's, you certainly, when you've been in the gig as long as I have, the last 20 years, and you've basically been a fly on the wall because you've been casual, and you've not actually been able to engage in a, in a deeper process, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to stomach that sometimes. Isn't it? Just, just asking about kind of the, the, the process or the how you got to the point where you said actually I've had enough or <laughs> da da da. Yeah. I mean, what, what was that for you? What, what made the, you? What, what was, was the catalyst? catalyst? Yeah. Uh, oh, the birth of my daughter. Yeah, and my wife not working. Mm. Yeah, that was simply it. Uh, the, the, the problem with me was that the work is always there to do in my department. It's, it simply is not going to go away. We've got students and they need to be provided with support. And so the academics. Um, but once that budget had been apparently spent, that was the end of me for the, for the semester. Um, but yeah, that, that it was simply just the birth of the world. I need to be able to provide. And that's the, the best thing about the, the, the um, permanent contract that I've been provided is now I can actually support with family, which is fantastic and not have to worry about it too much. Um, because I think that if the permanent contract hadn't come about, I would have quite quickly been um, working for someone different, probably outside of the, 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 um, the industry that I'm in at the moment. So I want to ask you a future-oriented question, because yep. we were talking about with young people today are being told <coughs> the future is really bright because you're just going to be a gig worker, a yeah, portfolio yeah. worker, you won't yeah, ever yeah. have a permanent job, you've got a daughter and yep. you did something about your own permanence. Do you think it's fair to say that the kids around us, your life is one of uncertainty? Um, I don't, my personal opinion is that the gig economy is um, probably just going to be anti body stress. They're probably going to want to be paid money that the employer is not going to be able to pay them um, because that, the value for that work for the employer is not at what a gig worker would want to be paid. So I imagine that the gig worker wants to work six months of the year and then not work for six months of the year and you'd be paid a full year's worth of work. Um, some people might be able to do that, others may not. That uncertainty is certainly not something that I would enjoy um, because you, you, you can't take a break from the mortgage, you can't take a break from paying petrol for your car, or charging your electric bicycle, or whatever the case may be. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I'm not sure that the gig economy is a little bit the way of thinking about employment in terms of gigs, unless you, you know, it's super highly specialised or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a. Mm -hmm. So it's not really the future you want for your daughter? No, I shouldn't. I? No way. Yeah. Not at all. No, no. I, I would. I'll be encouraging her to, to try to um, find a, a an education and a, and a place of employment or a type of employment that's going to give her certainty so that she doesn't have to spend her whole time stressing and worrying and doing all those things. Bad. Done there. Bad. Awesome.